if there's anything that you should take from this video is that when you're moving abroad leave your clothes at home you do not need them you don't need the clothes there's clothes where you're going so just leave them at home <laughs> welcome back to my channel i am emily witumelo if it's your first time here hi and welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for choosing to watch yet another video so in today's video i want to talk about things that you need to consider packing if you are preparing to move abroad right and this is from my own personal experience and i don't want people making the same mistakes that i did so i am here to share with you what happened with me give you a few tips and i hope that will help you in your journey moving abroad so if you are interested in this video please do continue watching subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed like comment share and all that good stuff and we are gonna go straight into the video so this video was actually inspired by something that i was doing a couple of weeks ago so i was trying to like uh declutter and like just put things together and then i realized that i actually had so many things and of those things it was clothes i had a lot lot of clothes and all these clothes are clothes that i actually moved with them from home when i was moving to china and, I, and then i realized that actually there was no reason for me to have moved with so many clothes because half of them not even half more than half like 90 percent of the clothes that i moved with from home to china i haven't even worn them i never used them because i got to china i got excited i discovered taobao and i started buying a whole lot of things and then i didn't even use all those things so i don't want you to make the same mistakes so I just want to share with you some of the things that you should consider important uh, to pack when you are moving abroad and I'm going to tell you right now clothes are your least important items for you to worry about when you're packing. They should be like at the bottom of your list when you're trying to put put things together in terms of what are you going to pack when you're moving abroad. So please learn from my mistakes if there's anything that you should take from this video is that when you're moving abroad leave your clothes at home you do not need them you don't need the clothes there's clothes where you're going so just leave them at home right okay so let's talk about what are the essential things that you should consider packing when you're moving abroad at number one for me i think it's definitely cosmetics and by cosmetics this includes your skin care your hair care your body care right pack your cosmetics and this is very beneficial because you will find brands that the same brand that we have back home it, it would be the same but the products are not the same for instance when i moved to china I, I was like i mean surely the people in china have to lotion their faces they have to use deodorant they have to have vaseline they i mean they take a shower so they have um body care but the mistake that I made is that I did not actually do my research in terms of the type of products that Chinese people use, right? I fumbled, that's where I just, all the wheels fell off because I did not do my research in terms of the products that are being used here, especially for black people. So what I realized is that most of the products here in China, a lot of like the lotions have like um, skin whitening, they're very watery and with the water as well the water that comes from the tap it's not clean water so when you shower with that type of water it dries up your skin this is something that i have experienced and the lotions and things that you use like for body care they just don't have enough oils to actually keep your body hydrated so i realized that should i have not packed so many clothes i would have packed a lot of like my vaselines my lotions um, soaps and things like that so that they can at least you know counteract this damage that I'm getting from water so please pack your body care pack your soaps at least have like six months supply at least if you can have a year's supply please do but things like that those are very important pack your cosmetics make sure that you have especially things that are your favorite things that you use on a daily basis make sure that you pack those you know skincare even for makeup girls makeup oh my gosh i cannot stress this enough you will struggle finding foundation 
Uh, so please pack uh, as much foundation as you can pack as much concealer as you can things like uh, like your eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that it's things that you can buy but um, foundation concealer you're going to struggle with finding like the right shades because as you know there aren't a lot of black people in China therefore most of the brands do not cater like most of the brands that we know like your Max and your Estee Lauder do not cater for black people in China so you will definitely struggle with finding the right shade so to you know um, save yourself the trouble pack as much as you can so that you know that you have at least a uh, six month supply or some uh, products that will last you for at least a year you know while you're trying to uh, find your feet get comfortable and figure out how, ways for you to be able to buy these products from where you're staying and i mean this is not about just about china but if you're going to if you're moving abroad um even if you know that you will find these products there i suggest you actually uh pack these products yourself for yourself and where you come from so that when you get there you don't have to worry about finding things like products that you're going to use so that when you're easing yourself into it at least you're still comfortable and you're still finding your way okay so that is very very important another thing that is very important is hair care especially if you have natural hair like for black people if you have natural hair please pack the products that you normally use because chances are there's a very like slim chance that you would actually find the exact products that you're using so please if you really love your hair and you want to continue to take care of it pack hair care products pack as much as you can you know i mean when you're traveling you get a lot of like luggage space you'll get about depending on the airline that you're flying with you get about 23 to 30 kg of checked in luggage um allowance so use that wisely do not pack clothes leave the clothes <laughs> clothes will get to it but do not pack your clothes i'm going to keep repeating this these are this is the least of your worries clothes are the least of your worries okay so number one make sure you pack up on those cosmetics make sure you have your skincare your body care your hair care your makeup pack them up have at least okay if you don't want to go extreme have at least a three month supply three months six months to a year supply I think then you'll be okay thank me later okay and then next up is medication this is also important if you are a sickly person even if you're not a sickly person make sure that you have medication that you are used to because when you move to these countries things are different they have different brands and your body might not react that well to these kind of brands especially when you're moving to a country like China it is so difficult you will struggle you know it's not like a train wreck or that it is impossible but when you're still trying to find your feet and trying to settling in in a new country you don't want to be worrying about things like this you know things that you could have prevented so that your settling is a bit more comfortable so pack up your medication things like your pain medication things like your flu medication I mean in these times of COVID pack up on your flu supplies pack up on your um, for instance, for ladies who are on contraceptives, at least make sure that you get a year's supply of your contraceptives because you're not going to find those contraceptives in, in, for instance, in China. They do not have the same contraceptive methods. They do not have the same um, brand, for instance, of the same contraceptives uh, pills that you were using if you're on a pill and things like that. So try to find, find alternatives in, in terms of like things like can you do like those injections for like a couple of months or a year just find ways that when you come here you do not have to worry about that so medication is also very important find things like your allergy medication because you don't know the kind of environment that you're walking into so to prepare your body your body might might act differently your body might not react nicely to the environment you're about to walk into so at least have a defense with you you know have that medication the allergy medication have stomach medication you know those uh, pills that help with like bloating and stuff like and diarrhea and things like that have those those are very important especially if you are very particular with the food that you eat because when you move to a different country most of the time the food is very different to what you're used to so you don't want to find yourself now not eating because everything you eat makes you sick so just 
have those in hand you might use them you may not need to use them but just have them just in case it's very important please <laughs> and then another thing that I've, i consider that you should pack as well is food right and by food i mean like just staples things that you like you know things that are unique for, uh, to where you come from for instance things like your snacks have some snacks with you i mean obviously where you're going there are some snacks but i i um advise that you pack you know a couple of snacks just to you know ease you in into this life that you're about to walk into um, at least for the first couple of weeks uh, for the first couple of days or the first couple of weeks or even the first month you know when you're feeling a bit homesick you can have a nibble to nibble on things that you wouldn't normally find where you're going but it things that you actually enjoy when you come when, uh, from where you come from things like your chocolates um, if you're a person who eats chocolate things like your sweets um, chips and things like that have those things in your bag you know just so these are for more for you to be comfortable to give you a bit more comfort um while you're trying to settle in um if you're a person who cooks have some spices you know please pack the spices that you normally use at home there's no raja in china there's no aromat in china well now there is but initially when you come here you won't just know that oh okay i know where to go if i want to buy some of like um spices and sauces from south africa so if you are trying to ease yourself into this pack them in your bag and also some of this thing these things obviously you need to check with the airlines if they're acceptable if you can actually pack them in your um checked luggage but most of these things i think you can medication i think is the one thing that you would need to check if you can actually put um into your luggage and travel with it you can check those ones but in terms of like food like spices your snakes some of your favorite things to eat when you're at home you could definitely um pack those and move over with them to help you settle in you know if you are a person who likes your pop pack a young one kg maize milnyana a one kg rice you know one kg samp those kind of things you know things that will actually um, remind you of home i know the things that you cannot pack is like your meat please don't put like a verse in your bag you can't do that you cannot travel with that but things like your young one kg of rice one kg of maize meal you could definitely put those in your luggage and it'll definitely help you say um settle in a bit better right so um let me tell you my story and why i actually feel so passionate about this so when i was moving to china I moved with like when I was packing I was not worried about these other things I did not worry about makeup I did not worry about skincare hair care any medication I did buy medic medication but it was just uh like pisnyan a medication you know one box of allergics one box of like uh sunny tabs one box of um uh, uh what was the other one uh like stomach medication because i went to the pharmacy and i asked them what do people who normally go to china uh, buy you know and that lady gave me like a couple of things and then i took them and i left right but i hate that i put a lot of emphasis on clothes i packed my entire wardrobe when i was uh packing i literally packed everything i was per packing like a person who was never going to come back and i was like what are you doing why are you packing so much clothes like you'd swear where you're going you do not you do not um the people do not like wear clothes of which they do and you will have access to shops where you can buy clothes so please do not pack your clothes right so after you've packed your cosmetics after you've packed all your medication after you've packed all like the snacks and foods and things that you would actually like to nibble on now you can move on to clothes <laughs> you know now you can move on to clothes you can pick some outfits that you know you would need and pack them up you know and by me saying leave your clothes at home i'm not saying do not like pack any clothes please don't do that pack some clothes but just don't pack your entire wardrobe you know pack clothes that you know that you're actually going to wear make 
pack enough clothes to last you at least for the first month that you're here because trust me when you get to a new country what you're going to want to do you're going to want to explore you're going to get excited you want to go to the shops and see what you can find you're going to go shopping you're going to buy some stuff so you don't want to now waste your luggage space on things that you're not going to be using and i promise you clothes is one of those especially shoes shoes i'm pretty sure you need like two three pairs nyana of shoes and then you will be okay you know and then clothes enough a uh, couple of outfits to last you at least for the first month whilst you're trying to settle in and while you're getting into work and just waiting for your first paycheck because when that first paycheck comes in you are going to go wild i guarantee you you are definitely going to go wild so don't waste space with packing the clothes I, I have no other ways to say this, but honestly, clothes are your least important. And the only tips I can give on like clothes, for instance, if you're a person who is moving to a country like China, and maybe you're a plus size person, or you're a nice curvy girl and things like that, then things that you would need to consider, because I have struggled with that, uh, with finding things like jeans or like nice trousers that would actually fit my figure properly So pack those kind of things, you know uh, Bras if you are a big bust girl and you need like a bigger bra Pack those kind of things, but everything else t-shirts jackets shoes or uh, shoes I cannot even <laughs> put so much stress into it shoes you will definitely find all these things so don't stress yourself and just leave things at home because you will come back home so you don't want to be now every time you're going home or every time you're coming back to work you are always traveling with your clothes all halfway through the world and it's always the same things so you don't want to do that you know so Make sure that you pack smart, uh, make sure that you have the things that you need, make sure that it's things that are functional and it's things that you're actually going to use all the time, you know. So use your luggage allowance wisely, use it wisely, okay. <laughs> I hope that you, I hope this sheds more light, you know, and this helps you if you're a person. And this is not just about moving um, to China, you could be moving anywhere else in the world, but... Um, I think it's very important that when you're moving in, there are things that you really don't have to worry about and things that you could get from home, move uh, with, move with them to go wherever you're going so that it makes you move a little bit smoother so that when you get there, it doesn't um, affect you like you're settling in. When you're still trying to find your feet, there are things that you need and you already have them so you don't have to be running around like a headless chicken and trying to find things that you don't know even where to start you know once you're settled in then you'll start like maneuvering and finding ways where you can buy these kind of things that are from home you know buying from international websites you know there's vendors for instance when you come to china now um when i moved here in 2019 we didn't have like those vendors who were selling like south african products but now you know there's been like uh there's been a demand so people have decided to supply these uh, south african products they're supplying things like south african condiments south african spices south african alcohol you know now we have um, access to things like your savannah your black label and things like that but i wouldn't have known these things firsthand when i first moved in, moved into china i wouldn't even know where to find these things you know so i needed to have spent more time and find my feet and settled in before i can now start exploring where to find these um rare products that i would use back home and that are not so popular where i am okay so i hope this has been very helpful to you if you watched the video up until this far love from me to you i am out don't forget to leave your clothes at home <laughs> when you are moving abroad thank you so much for watching i will see you again in my next video bye